It's just over a year since the Ryder Cup was in town, so Glen Eagles has returned to normality and tranquility. That September week was a special one for Team Europe and their hordes of fans, but it was monumental for one man in particular. Jamie Donaldson was a late developer and went into the contest as a relatively unknown quantity, a 38-year-old Ryder Cup rookie who enjoyed an unforgettable first two days by winning both of his four-ball matches. But then came the Sunday and the shot of his life on the biggest stage of all, a spectacular 150-yard approach at 15 that secured his team's third straight victory. In an instant, his life turned into brilliant mayhem. Sheer euphoria swept over him, and the man from Pontypridd in Wales became a household name. He'd never returned to Glen Eagles and the scene of his transformation into sporting superstar until Golfing World asked him to relive some of those magical memories at the 15th. Well, I got hit a tee shot. The holes are still the same, it's just all the surroundings look different because there's so many people there, you know. It's amazing to come back here, I mean, this place is so special, whether there was a Ryder Cup here or not, you know, this is a very special place with three great golf courses. You know, then they put the, they have the Ryder Cup here, which, you know, makes it even better, makes it just an incredible arena to play golf in. The, you know, the, this is perfectly set up for the Ryder Cup, there were so many great viewing spots all over the golf course, and for me to, to come back and get to play the hole again is great. I mean, ov obviously I'm always going to, at some point, come back here. Um, it was just when, you know, now is obviously a perfect time with there being, um, it's 15 degrees and sunny and warm. So, uh, yeah, beautiful. The wind was sort of off the tee shot, was off the right. Uh, I'd been hitting cuts all week off the tee. Um, so I could, you know, I could be aggressive with it knowing that the wind was always going to help me if I'd overcut if I overcut the tee shot, and um, I was aiming down the I was aiming down the left side, trying to just drift it back into the fairway. It just went bullet straight down the left half of the fairway with like a knuckleball, and it was probably the longest, best tee shot I'd hit all week. Um, I mean, it's obviously very different now coming back here. There's no one here, and obviously in the Ryder Cup, par was always a good score, you know. Uh, I just happened to hit the two best shots I'd ever hit at the perfect time. The crowd was gathering around Donaldson as it became obvious he had the chance to write himself into the history books. The Welshman walked to the 15th tee, four up with four to play against Keegan Bradley. Securing his third point out of four would earn Europe a sixth win in seven tournaments. Not bad start of the car. Uh, it's like nothing else, really. There's nothing. Um... I mean, I've played in front of great crowds in uh, in, in majors and and, and um, in other events around the world, but um, there's nothing like playing in Ryder Cup. It's just totally different than anything else that we do. Uh, there's a higher uh, fun element of it. Um, it's, it's you know it, it's a it's great to have all the banter and the crap with the lads. Um, it, you know the Europeans come together brilliantly as a team. And it's just, you're looking down here and there's, you know, there's, um, I don't know, 40,000 people, 30,000 people down one hole. I mean, we don't have that. We, you don't get that arena anywhere in, um, in professional golf. You get a lot in majors down the stretch, obviously. Um, but you don't, get, um, you don't get the crowds like you do, like you do down here in, the, uh, in, any, in any Ryder Cup, really. It was just electric. Bradley was in the rough. The atmosphere was tense, but few of the fans, opponents or teammates could predict what came next. A moment so good, the people at Glen Eagles sprung a surprise. Yeah, I don't think my divot was that big. <laughs> this commemorative plaque will now forever sit on the PGA Centenary course here at Glen Eagles, 146 yards to the pin. It's a rare honour for the well-grounded Donaldson, who was the unlikely standout performer for Team Europe. The occasion certainly didn't hamper his golf. He seemed to thrive in the electric atmosphere. It'd been building from, from 11. You know, the crowds were gathering every hole um, to suddenly coming down here. It looked like everybody that had been playing, that had been watching, was, was on 15. Um, so it's pretty obvious what was going on and it looked like it was coming down to my game. I didn't, like I say before, I didn't really pay any attention, well, too much attention to leaderboards and just 
I think it carried away myself and just accepted that, you know, just to win my game, just, you know, just focus on your game, win your point, and then go and, you know, get involved with a team. McGinley talked about complacency. That was the important thing. Focus on your game, win your point afterwards, you know, then um, you get you get in discussion with everybody else whatever, what, what else happened. And you do your bit to try and win the match. And um, it just happened to come down to me and I had the opportunity and hit the right shot at the right time. It was just a perfect number. In those circumstances, you just want a good number. You know, as soon as the ball was hit, I knew it was good and, and it started where I wanted it to start and did everything that I wanted it to do. Um, but to finish a foot from the hole, obviously, in the air, you don't know um, it's going to be that close, obviously. And then that was it. I mean, obviously, it holds great memories for me. It's the best moment in my golfing career to date. You know, um, it was just the best shot I've ever hit um, under that much pressure. I just happened to hit the best wedge, you know, a, a really, really good wedge shot under those circumstances. You know, the, the, the beauty of it was, for me, was coming into the Ryder Cup with form and continued that form all the way through the week and played as well as I've played, um, you know, for that whole week. And it just so happened to be the Ryder Cup and it was an arena that I just loved playing in. It was the final blow. On instruction from Team USA captain Tom Watson, Bradley conceded the match and the 40th Ryder Cup was over. Europe triumphant once more, for the eighth time in ten contests since 1995. The home fans chanted Donaldson's name for hours, but a year on, could he do it again? It'd be silly not to ask. Right, we'll attempt it with the same club because everything else is cheating. Right. Tell you what, that's not bad. There you go. <laughs> and they say lightning never strikes twice. A true pro, Ryder Cup hero, Jamie Donaldson. <laughs>